Good afternoon, it's a beautiful Thursday and welcome to the Perfect Health Show brought to you by Dynalab. And well, I can only hope you enjoyed yesterday's show as much as I did. Now yesterday on the show, um, I had Dora with me. Yes. And uh, we took a look at, you know, the importance of cleansing mm -hmm. and detoxifying. Yes, as we prepare for the festive season. Yes. So we went deep like we love to do all the time. Yes. And she, you know, she ran us through some of the products mm -hmm. that you can find at Dynalab if you need to cleanse your body or just to detoxify. So in studio this afternoon, we've been joined by Mannix. Mannix is the agronomist. He, uh, he, he joins us off the sh on the show every week. And obviously today we'll be looking at something that we haven't looked at. And this is... Um, this one here. Diagro Bio 8. Diagro Bio 8. I know we've looked at the green, we've looked at the red as well, right? So this afternoon we will be looking at this one here. This is the Diagro Bio 8. So he will be giving us more um, details. If you're a farmer, you know, we'll, uh, I love to emphasize the fact that you need the information if you're of getting course. into farming or maybe yeah, you're already into it but and you don't even have to be a big commercial farmer to mm -hmm. use the agro even if you have like a small backyard garden or a small front yard garden mm -hmm. i think this information will be very useful sure. yeah all right so we'll be getting to manix on uh the di grow bio 8 yes but dora um for the sake of someone who's just joining us for the first mm -hmm. time today and uh they don't know what the show is all about mm -hmm. uh the importance of um you know, looking after your, your health and just some of those health products that you get to find at Dynalab. So let me just explain to one why they should be so glued to this show. You know what the Perfect Health Show is all about. Okay, so the Perfect Health Show is proudly sponsored by Dynalab International Zambia Limited, which is a multi-level marketing company. Okay, so Dynalab has been in the industry for over 10 years here in Zambia, but it was um, initially founded way, way back in the 80s. So these are products that have come a long way, which are rich in history, and so you know that you're taking a good quality product. We have a wide range of products that people can take. Like, for example, yesterday we spoke about um, the benefits and importance of cleansing. Mm -hmm. We also have the nutritional supplements, we have the weight and diet management products, we have the clean water. Last time I think we spoke about yes, the water mineral pot that we have. Uh, we also have a range of cosmetics that are all natural. And of course, the DI Grow organic fertilizer. Because it's not just about what you put in your body, but it's also about what you put in the soil. Mm -hmm okay that will ensure that the food that you're eating is of the best quality mm. so the way my body needs those nutrients yes. it's the same with the soil exactly it's the same thing right Manic. yeah mm. all right so we move on to humanics right now um the di grow um bio 8 did i get it right yeah. okay yeah let me just read di grow bio 8 this is the one we're looking at today sounds very scientific <laughs> it does mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so what is di grow bio 8 and what does it contain my next well this is the the full effect mm -hmm. uh, that contains um, quite a number of uh, nutrients both macro and uh, micronutrients I think they are a total of about 12 plus. Oh. Yeah. Other than those, it has three microbes uh, or organisms mm -hmm. uh, for mobilization of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium mm -hmm. in the soil. Okay. Uh, additionally, it also has uh, uh, organic matter. Okay. We all know what organic yeah. matter is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this product has organic matter in it. Um, basically, it's, it's got also a component of um, of uh, seaweed, mm -hmm. just like Diagro Green as mm -hmm. well as Diagro Red. Mm -hmm. No wonder it has those 12 nutrients, but it's got component of seaweed. Oh, yeah. okay. So, having said that, um, it's green green. <laughs> what's the what's the difference? Uh, the bio eight and the di grow green. What's the difference there? Uh, well, the difference is basically in the in the, in the in the composition. In terms of function, they are the same. They're the same. Yeah, primary function is uh, root development and vegetative growth. Okay, so what is it that the the bio eight has that the the green doesn't have? It's the presence of um, of organic matter in the eight. Uh, here there's no organic matter but there's humic acid okay yeah and also the presence of uh, three microbes in mm -hmm. eight 
Whereas which are not this, which are not in this one. That's the difference. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so for like, let me just ask a quick question. As a layman, as somebody who just does backyard, maybe if your plants or small little red garden, which one would be better off? They're both good. Okay. The the, the only thing is that uh, uh, this one does an extra thing that green doesn't do, mm-hmm. of mobilizing those key. Uh, nutrients in the soil mm. nitrogen phosphorus and potassium the issue is that when this one is pushed into the soil the microbes will immediately go into the soil and begin to mobilize to look for these three nutrients wherever they are in the soil and bring them closer to the root uh, zone for uptake for crop okay uptake. okay yeah so in if if you have to to be to be critical about choosing of course, uh, farmers would want to choose this one mm-hmm. because it would ha- have a, a dual function. Mm. Yeah, feeding through the the leaves as well as uh, mobilization. So this one is quite powerful. You can even see in terms of pricing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have seen that there's a difference. Yes, I've seen. Mm. Difference, yeah. Okay, so this morning I was. I'm being very honest. I was applying the. Uh, the di grow green to my no, little garden it was Look smiling I, I always say good morning you know i'm that person when i wake up in the morning i i go to the garden is it strange is it weird like i greet the plants mm. no but that's a good thing <laughs> no, no, no. that's a good thing no, but I, I, mean, I do that i talk to them how are you, you doing did you listen to that advert i did I scripted the one I said, oh you know, yes yes have yes. you ever thanked a, gra- a green leaf you should yeah you so, should and so. i think my garden was smiling today <laughs> like <laughs> And this was the second application. So you explained very well the last time we were here when we looked at DI Grow Green uh, in terms of dosage, when to apply, and all that. So when it comes to DI Grow, um, uh, uh, DI Grow Bio. Bio 8, yes. How is it used? And in terms of dosage, um, what's the difference? Okay, this one has three uh, dose rates, mm-hmm. depending on uh, w- which crop a farmer is dealing with. You know, in terms of cropping, there are those crops that we call gross feeders. What are those? What's that? Uh, gross feeders are those that require more nutrients than their friends. Okay. okay. Yes. Like they're so demanding. Yes, like maize. An okay. example of maize, cabbage, those are heavy feeders. We call them gross feeders or heavy feeders mm-hmm. because of, a, of the amount of nutrients they take in in order for them to perform very well. Mm-hmm. We also have what we call medium feeders. Mm-hmm. Those that don't need too much, that don't need <laughs> little, but just medium. And we also have less feeders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this one works well for all the three categories of, uh, of crops. So for the heavy feeders, farmers can use uh, one liter to 100 liters of water. Okay. Mm-hmm. One liter to 100 liters of water. Mm-hmm. And for medium feeders, one liter to 200 liters of water and less feeders one liter to 300 liters of water mm. okay yeah so it's quite a flexible uh, product so whereas growing... this one you only have one rate yes but this one is flexible so if you're growing a lower feeder it will last you longer yes it will last you longer. okay so meaning it's more economical mm. in the long run mm. mm. interesting all right so um can farmers mix the you know the di grow bio 8 with uh chemical insecticides or fungicides can 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 you do that uh i'll put a caution there they shouldn't do that okay. remember that i talked about three microbes mm-hmm. microbes are living uh, organisms and so if a chemical is 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 included in this product it kills off those microbes if those microbes are killed, it means that that function of mobilization of nutrients in the soil won't happen. Mm. So they'll be doing a disservice to themselves. And then they'll tell us that this product is not as powerful as we, we speak about about it. You, know, see what, you see what I mean? Mm. So um, they shouldn't mix. There's just this uh, tendency that has come among us farmers of mixing different chemicals in one drum. Maybe they'll put three or four chemicals and mix them trying to do uh, one thing at a, at a given time. Mm. But there are certain reactions that would happen if that happen, if the, uh, this chemical, this particular product is mixed with insecticides and, and, and pesticides that are of chemical nature. Mm. But with uh, 
biologicals or bio, yeah, biologicals or bio pesticides and fungicides, there would be no problem. Mm-hmm. They can mix, but chemicals, no. Mm. Yeah. Now, I, I know it was done that you do conduct, you know, these training programs, you, um, uh, especially with the distributors. Now, if I come through as a customer and I want to purchase this one, uh, would you run me through the same, you know, training or some kind of training? Yes, we do. You do that Although as well. they may not be comprehensive because you're just coming to the office yeah. and so we'll just touch the salient point. Because I think understanding or just knowing how to apply and when I think that's the key is, because if you don't apply it properly you're going to miss all the benefits sure. and you're not going to yeah. get able to get the correct yield which you get. Which is and actually the, the same. The yeah, which is the same as with our other supplements that we take as well. Mm-hmm. Because we give you uh, the dosage that you're supposed to take. Yes. It's not just a product that you're going to find off the street that has no dosage, no measurement, mm. no nothing. Mm. We will tell you to say, if you take this correctly for this amount of time, for example, if you're taking something called mangosteen, which is an immune booster, it's good for the heart, blood circulation, all of that. We will tell you to say, okay, you're going to need to take this for at least uh, six to eight weeks for you to achieve and if you follow the directive and follow what we're telling you you're definitely going to see the benefits so i think that's exactly what manix is talking about when it comes to the application of this yeah i guess it's the same even when you go to a hospital you're given that prescription so exactly. you need to know when when to take and when not yes. to take the dosage as well all right so manix um what are some of the benefits of using uh di grow bio 8 number one is environmentally friendly uh, it's very important yes and uh, also cost effective uh, improves water and nutrient absorption. Uh, it also depresses soil-borne diseases. You know, uh, most of the soils uh, from which our farmers cultivate have diseases, mm-hmm. mostly of either bacterial or or fungal nature. Mm-hmm. And these stay, can stay in the soil for a long time mm-hmm. uh, if certain cultural practices are not being done by farmers. Cultural practices, I mean, things like uh, crop rotation you know, and conservation farming and many other things that happen around there. So if a farmer plants the same, if you're monocropping, planting the same crop in the same area, you find that those particular diseases, they will attack the crop. And so productivity gets to, to, to go down as well as crop yields dropping drastically. So uh, farmers need to, to do certain things to try and avoid that kind of uh, 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 negative uh, impact on their cropping. So this particular product will depress those okay. diseases. Okay. Uh, how is it done? When a farmer is about to use this product, those have to spray at the base of the plant. For instance, Not on the leaves? N- both leaves and the base, but they have to start with the base. Okay. Yeah, so this is the, the plant here. Mm-hmm. So they have to spray here at the base mm-hmm. so that the solution immediately goes in. And at what soil. stage are you doing that? Uh, well, two weeks after emergence okay. is okay. Or at three, four leaf stage. Okay. Yeah. The, 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 the farmer will spray at the base so that the solution goes into the soil to allow the three microbes to do it, to do their work of mobilization of nutrients. And after spraying, at the base, they can also spray on the leaves to allow also nutrients to go through the stomach of the mm. Yeah, so this works out well in depression of, of soil bone diseases. Yeah. Okay, now there's something that I need to understand. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm my little farming, mm-hmm. my little garden behind. You I haven't even told to us about your farming. You haven't told us. <laughs> no, there's some it. tomatoes, <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I applied in the morning. That was around six. Mm-hmm. I sprayed. Um, is it okay to water immediately afterwards, or at what time can I, you know, water the garden? Well, Diagro, after spring. Diagro prof- performs well with uh, very good, or maybe say optimal levels of moisture in the soil. That's when it will work well. That's when it will work well. Yeah, okay. so your, your crops must be wetted time and again. Mm-hmm. So you, you could spray in the evening before sleeping and spray your diagro early morning when there's still enough moisture. Mm. So see, I'm a good student. I remembered I sprayed at the right time. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so... I look forward to seeing those tomorrow. I I will definitely send you some pictures. No, we need to see that. We need to see that and put them here and say, this is the work of Hope's hands. (laughs) Definitely, I'll definitely do that. All right, so it seems that's all we had um, for today's show. And uh, the focus today, uh, we're looking at uh, DI Grow Bio 
8 and uh, Manix here has explained the benefits of using Diagro Bio 8. But Dora, before we go, mm -hmm. um, contact details if someone wants to call in, yeah. if someone wants to walk into that store to mm -hmm. purchase any of these products, yeah. or maybe just need some information before they before they of choose course. to pick up. You know, some people want to find out a bit more before they can purchase yes. any of our products. And we're always here to um, help you. Okay, we have very good qualified salespeople in the shops. Mm -hmm. uh, whether you're buying from um, Dola, Kitwe, Solwezi, wherever you might be buying from, um, they're able to assist you, as well as our distributors who we like to train every now and then. But of course, if you want to walk into a Dynalab shop, you can find us in Livingston. Okay, we are in Mons as well as Choma. You can find us in Kabwe along with Saka Road. We are along President's Avenue in Ndola, okay? You can find us in Kitwe, like I said, Solwezi. We are in uh, Mumbwa. Uh, no, Mumbwa has closed down. We're not in Mumbwa, but we have distributors in Mumbwa. We're in Mongo, okay? As well as Kasama, Mansa, Chipata, and of course, our fabulous outlets here in Osaka. That include number 26 Joseph Wheeler Road, which is our head office. And that's where you can actually find our agronomist, Mr. Mannix. Um, then we have Canela Building. Uh, we have the downtown shop. We have Lower Nika Mall, Arcades, and of course, Cairo Road at Limda Mall. Nice, that's like everywhere. That's now, everywhere. <laughs> Manix, before I let you go, what are some of those? I know you you interact a lot with uh, farmers. So what are some of those success stories? What do they have to say about this product? Well, those that have, um, have already started, because this is a new product. Eh? It's okay. not... Uh, oh, it's not as market. old as yeah, the green. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, those that have started using it, they are appreciating it. They, okay. they, uh, even just the experiments that we did with Zari, mm -hmm. the Zambia Agricultural uh, Research Institute, uh, those statistical analyses that we had done, mm -hmm. it was in, in, in agriculture to analyze uh, uh, different treatments mm -hmm. or applications of what you are testing. We use analysis of variance, what we call ANOVA. So you have to check the use of uh, things like this, uh, uh, products like Diagro Bio 8 was, was checked against uh, decompound and urea mm. uh, in maize production. Okay. And so ANOVA results showed that uh, there was no significant difference in terms of their perf performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I can attest that. Uh,